And this has been done on a monumental scale. Property owner's attorney William Palmer accuses California's Bureau of Unclaimed Property of theft. He's suing the state for failing to give proper notice to the more than 8 million owners whose property is now in the state's custody. The items include family heirlooms, rare coins, stocks and bonds, and even rare Hollywood memorabilia, property that Palmer says the state now claims as its own. I don't know how you reunite people with their property if you don't even tell them that you've taken the property. California officials argue the lost items were turned over to the state by insurance companies and banks after three years of inactivity. Robin Johansson, an attorney for the state, says California has the right to liquidate the assets. As all of these statutes provide, and as the U.S. Supreme Court has said is perfectly constitutional, the state gets the use of it, not the bank. But the California Taxpayers Association says the state has not tried hard enough to reunite owners with their property. Most states require the publication of owners' names, but California provides only a website. Association spokesman David Klein says the site once listed California's governor as an unlocated owner. He says even the state's unclaimed property office was once listed as missing. That shows the notification system needs to be improved. If the State Bureau couldn't find its own money, then how are you or I going to have a chance of finding our money? Revenue from the sale of unclaimed property is used to boost the state's budget. California's new state controller has imposed a moratorium on the sale of unclaimed property while the state considers ways to improve the search for owners. The state estimates the delay will cost an estimated $127 million in lost revenue. Milar Sagan, DOA News.